Hi, my name is John Sawash, and I'd like to help you print from your Chromebook. Now, you might be a teacher or a student or a parent who has a Chromebook. Maybe your school let you bring it home uh, for remote learning, or you just have a Chromebook and you'd like to print from it. The good news is that printing from Chromebooks has gotten a lot easier over the last five or six years. I've been a Chromebook user for a long time, and it used to be very difficult, if not impossible, to print. But now it's pretty straightforward. So we're going to walk you through the steps of connecting your Wi-Fi printer to your Chromebook. Now I'm going to do my very best to kind of guide you through this process, but there's a lot of variables. There's a lot of different printers, manufacturers, and so I won't be able to tell you specifically every single step that you need to take, but I should be able to point you in the general direction to help you uh, figure it out on your own. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your printer and connect it to your Wi-Fi network. So you, you have to have a Wi-Fi enabled printer um, and then you can get them fairly inexpensively. Um, I have one from Brother, I have another one from HP. Both of them work great. Um, Epson, Lexmark, most major printer brands should work just fine. So go to your printer and connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Now, in order to print your Chromebook, and your printer have to be on the same network. Now I have a guest network and then like our um, password protected one. So my Chromebook and my printer are both on the password protected network. That's important. A lot of times my kids will connect to the wrong one and then the printer won't work. And it, you know, I was like, oh, you got to switch to the other network in order to print. So that's the first thing you're going to do. Connect your printer to the network. Now I'm going to show you the, the easy way. Hopefully this will work once your printer is connected. You're going to go to your Chromebook. We're going to click on the time in the bottom right corner. We're going to go up to the settings. We're going to click on the gear um, up there. This will take us into the settings for our Chromebook. Now there's lots of things in here. I always just search for whatever I'm looking for. So I'm just going to search up at the top for the word printer. Click on one of those options. And this is where you will configure your printer. Now the easy way, which I hope will work for you, is that your printer should just magically show up. So you can see right here, I have two printers. One of them is in my basement and one of them is in my uh, home office and they're all ready to go. My Chromebook automatically says, hey, there's a printer on the network. Would you like to set it up? And all I have to do is click this set up button and we're good to go. So check to see if that happens first. And if it does, you're done, you're finished, that's it. If it doesn't show up, it's okay. You can still configure your printer to print to your Chromebook or from your Chromebook. You're just gonna have to do it manually. So the next thing to try, if you don't get the automatic setup, is you're gonna need to go to your printer and print out the network configuration page. Now, if that sounds super complicated, don't stress too much. You don't have to understand what it says, but if your printer connects to your Wi-Fi network, it should be able to spit out a page that looks like this. It's a lot of numbers on it. Um, and I can just go to my printer and I just use the, the little tiny LCD panel on there to go to the menu and uh, search down for network configuration or network um, diagnostic page, something like that. Um, we're going to manually connect your printer to your Chromebook, but we're going to need this information in order for that to happen. So pause the video, run down to your printer and uh, print that out. You may have to look up your instruction manual to figure out how to get that page. Um, and then we'll continue and configure this. To begin the manual configuration, I'm going to click on this add printer button. Okay, so I'm going to click add printer. And the name is going to be whatever you want to identify it as. So I can call this, you know, basement printer. Um, whatever you want, that's what you're going to see when you go to print. Now the address is why we needed this sheet of paper right here, our network configuration page. Typically, the easiest way to do this is to enter the IP address for your printer. So every device on your network has a unique number assigned to it. And when you look at this configuration page, somewhere on here it should say IP address. 
not IP gateway or IP filter or DNS, just IP address. It typically looks like 192.168. And then it'll have a couple more uh, that are unique to you. Okay, so you're going to type in your IP address into that address bar 192.168.1.16. That's mine. Um, and then for the protocol, let's go ahead and switch that to HTTP. Okay. So pause it, look at my screen, match it to uh, what you see there. The queue will leave blank and then select add. Now that will bring us to step number two, which is to select the manufacturer of your device. So when you print, you get that little print preview window and on the right side, it says, you know, how many pages, do you want to staple it? Do you want to uh, color black and white? It gives you all the options. In order for the right options to show up, we have to uh, select the correct printer so it knows what options our printer has. Now, don't stress too much about this part, okay? There are thousands, tens of thousands of printers. There's a chance that your exact model might not be listed, but that's okay. You just have to get close, okay? So let's uh, take an example. I have a brother printer. Um, and I have, uh, my model number is the Brother MFC L2700DW. Very, uh, a very memorable number. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for MFC. Okay, Brother, wow, there's a lot of Brother printers. MFC, there we go. Okay, got close. And then I have to find the L2700. Oh, we got the l 27 and then I kind of get lost, okay? So the exact model number that I have is not listed here. But my printer is in the L2700DW series. You know, if I pick the 2715, the 2720, the chances are that all those printers have the same general configuration, okay? So get as close as you can. I'm going to pick this one, and you're good to go, okay? Um, we're going to go ahead and test that. I'm going to say Add. And now I'll see saved printers, basement printer has now been added to my device. The last thing that uh, you want to try is to actually print out a test page. So here's a little PDF, gonna print, select the destination, look, see more. And right there is the printer I just set up, basement printer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and select that. Give it a print and we'll see uh, what happens. So that's the general steps, the process for configuring your Chromebook to print to your home printer. Hopefully that will give you enough information, enough details to kind of walk yourself through the process. Now, if you are a parent or a student who's learning from home, stick around. I'm gonna give you access to some of my other videos for uh, teaching and learning uh, in a remote learning situation.